Hi, this is Debbie from uh, Debbie Debonair here in Manchester in the UK, part of the MLM superhero team. And tonight what I'm going to do is just sum up um, the four tips that um, can sabotage your dreams to success. It's part of um, a blog that I've written to um, give value and help you succeed in your journey, whatever path you're um, taking. So let's sum up. First of all, we talked about goal setting. Have you set any goals? If you haven't set any goals for your future success, then you ain't gonna be successful. You need goals so that you can be focused, so that you can achieve, um, so that you can be successful. Now, you need to make your goals achievable. You need to make your goals big enough that you will do anything to achieve those goals and be totally unstoppable until each and every one of those goals are achieved. So that's your start. In order to be successful, you have to set yourself some goals. So following on from that is procrastination. Now procrastination can absolutely cripple you. It was one of my biggest, biggest challenges um, during my journey. Um, what I used to do was, if there was um, something so big or something really challenging, I would put it at the bottom of the list so that at the end of the day, oops, I'd run out of time, so it would go on to the next day's list and then the next day's list and then the next day's list. So it never, ever got done. And, you know, most of the time, those things that never got done were actually the priority things that should have been done. That would move my business forward much quicker. So I needed to, fa to find something, do something to help with my procrastination. And I came across a book by Brian Tracy called Eat That Frog. It's an amazing book and basically the frog is your big challenge. And um, what the book tells you to do is eat the frog first. Tackle your big stumbling block first. And once you learn to do that, the feeling you get is absolutely amazing. And what it does is it then kind of rolls you forward into getting on with the other less, um, challenging um, actions that you have to take. So you kind of you start with the really big one, and then the next big, biggest one, and then the next biggest one, and so that you're doing the smaller things last. And what it it really, really made a massive difference to me. So I do really suggest that you um, go and go and find um, the Eat That Frog book. In fact, if you click in the blog. You, it will take you straight to the book, and um, you know you can you can see for yourself what it allows you to achieve. So that's procrastination. Then we followed on with planning. Now, if you don't have any goals, it's very difficult to plan. And what you'll do is you'll just wing it every day, and you don't really want to do that. You really, really want to be focused. So what you need to do is take one of your goals and say, right, what do I have to do on a daily basis to achieve that goal? So say, for example, you wanted to earn £3,000 a month. What would you have to do in your business and in your personal life to achieve that £3,000? Once you list down everything that you need to achieve, you can then put those that list into a daily action plan and you do that for every single one of your goals. That then allows you to plan on a daily basis and give yourself a plan of action. Now what I do that I find very helpful to me is I actually do my to-do list or action plan or whatever you want to call it the night before so that when I get up the next day and I'm dressed and ready to go to work, I can sit at my computer and I know exactly what I have to achieve in that day. And yes, 
I put the biggest frog first and you know it's just so much easier because you're just so prepared um, for the day ahead so um, that's something that I do and it really helps me and you know it may be something that will help you so you know try it so that's your planning so what the fourth uh, tip is your emotions you need to understand your emotions you've got fear you've got doubt you've got failure you've got um, disillusionment you've got discouragement you've got um, oh, other powerful emotions anger frustration that are really going to take try and take hold of you and what you've got to try got to do is not allow them to get hold of you so how are you going to do that let's take fear and doubt for instance you might decide you want to write a book so you say I'm going to write a book but I don't know where to start so you've got a fear you want to write the book but your fear is you've no idea where to start so that fear is far too big let's forget writing the book why don't you say to yourself, right, I want to write a book, what if I just start writing? Just let it flow, see what happens. There's no fear there. You've made it very relaxed and you're just going to start and see what happens. It may be something um, you have a fear of, let me think conversing with people okay it is a difficulty for a lot of people so say you are speaking to people on Facebook so you could start off by sending messages so you're not actually physically talking to them face to face and you're building up a rapport building up a relationship and you'll get to a point where either you or the person you're talking to decides to have a chat on Skype and you think, oh my God, I can't do that. So what you do is, you look at the text in your messages in Messenger, okay? And you prepare yourself a script. Just prepare yourself a script, okay? Of questions that you want to ask. And then once you've asked the first couple of questions, you'll actually find the conversation will just start flowing. And don't forget you've built up a rapport and you've built up a relationship. So your fear and your doubt can actually be subsided because you've actually got a little plan in place that if your fear is that you don't know what to say, just look at your notes and, and carry on. Okay. The next thing is um, you know, discouragement. You'll have friends and family saying, What on earth are you doing? You can't do that. You're not, you know, you're not experienced to do that. You're not educated to do that. Go down this route. Go down that route. You stay focused on exactly what your goal is, and don't allow anyone to step in the way. Don't allow anyone to drag you one way or drag you the other way. Be consistent and persistent in what you're doing. Believe in what you're doing. If you have the belief in what you're doing, it doesn't matter what anybody else says. And that's what you've got to get into your head to conquer the emotions of the discouragement um, and, you know, people saying you're going to fail and what have you. You know, so looking at um, disappointment and failure, okay? Failure. You know, there are 50 plus famous inventors, speakers, tradesmen who have failed on numerous occasions before they actually were successful. Now what you need to do with that failure and disappointment is take it and move you forward. So for instance, let's go back to writing the book. Okay? You've written a chapter and you haven't got it any further. So you're very disappointed, you've failed at writing the book. Right. Let's readjust, let's refocus and say, right, why can't I write the next chapter? What is stopping me writing the next chapter? It could be something as simple as 
you've took the wrong wrong tactic. You've you know you've you've, you, you've chosen the wrong subject for your book. You know, so just reevaluate, refocus, rethink, and start again. Don't see it as a failure. See it as um, strength to move you forward. See it as a learning curve. You've learned that that subject actually doesn't resonate with you. So let's try something else. You know, so don't see it as a failure and don't be disappointed. Move forward with it. You know, take from it and learn from it. Now the anger and the frustration are such powerful emotions that um, you need to kind of really dig deep inside yourself to change the anger and the frustration into calmness and um, positivity. Now I know that sounds really really hard and you think how on earth can you go from being so pent up with anger to move forward positively or calmly. It kind of doesn't make sense. So what you need to do is the reason you, you need to look at the reason why you're angry and the reason why you're frustrated. Are you angry because your the your partner is so against what you're doing and um, they won't listen to you, they won't support you, so you're getting so pent up, you're getting so angry, you're getting so frustrated, but you get to a point where you say, Right, this is really, really what I want to do. So I'm going to move forward calmly, peacefully, and carry on doing what I'm doing and block out the negativity from partner, parent, friend, whoever it may be. Just block them out and turn the power of your anger and your frustration into positivity that will drive you forward to achieve the goals that you have set set out and once you achieve those goals you can turn to that partner parent friend and say excuse me you know you didn't want me to do this and you didn't want me to do that well there you go I've achieved it and be very proud of yourself because you didn't you know you stood up you stood up for yourself but you did it in a positive calming manner and didn't let anyone bring you down and degrade you because you knew you could succeed and that's what you've got to have you've got to turn that anger and frustration into belief belief that you can achieve what you set out to do so allow that anger and frustration that massive pent-up emotion just let it go just breathe and let it go and just allow yourself to move forward don't let any niggles, any digs and stabs and what have you, don't let them, just don't let them in. Don't let them in. And you can move forward and you can be successful. So I hope these four tips have helped. And, you know, I really, really wish you all the best in your journey to your success. And um, I shall leave you this evening with those tips on my blog and which go into them in, in more detail and I really really wish you every success in the world and I'll see you there right at the top so thank you for listening this is Debbie from Debbie Debonair part of the MLM superhero heroes and I'm here in Manchester and yes it's raining again but never mind and um, I shall see you very soon so take care and goodbye for now